poop pretty soon. So we're going to push this one out. Okay, I don't know what I'm reading here, though. It's so scattered. Oh, this one is uh, Renault's. Oh, okay. So uh, this is Jazz. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Could you not have timed that any better? I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're going to tap this one out in five minutes. I'm sure we can. Time us. Ow. Ow. <laughs> that was a delayed response. So just for that to kill the pain, we're going to pour you some Baja. Oh. This is like the last one. It's got to be. Oh, my God. I do good on tequila. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, did we say this is jazz? This no. Is this is, okay. Oh, well, what, I said this is burp. This is share. <laughs> <laughs> you said. <laughs> this is jazz. Yes. Oh my god, can you tell this is like the last episode of like oh, eight? I think we've done eight. Tonight. I don't even know how many. Oh, has. I've lost count. Anyway, so anyway, this, this here is, we are. Here we are. We're back and we're about done. Stick a fork in it. We're done. <laughs> we've killed my two six of Baja Rosa. This is Jazz and Share. This is Giving Up the Ghost Podcast. And we are pumping them out. Pew pew pew. Pew 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 pew. So I'm she's not... a little confused. I handed her something to read. She's like so scattered. So we're on Reddit as giving up the ghost podcast. And about a year ago, I posed a question about Renault's. Has Renault's caused oh. hauntings in the Winnipeg area? Because mm. we firmly believe like mm-hmm. that is a big, mm-hmm. big, big, big reason why a lot of houses are haunted. A bajillion people have said that to us. That's right. So of course I would pose it. Like I'm yes, I'm looking. You know what? I hate people. I I really hate people because some some people were responding they're like are you just looking for information on your podcast or is this just a cheap ploy yeah fuck what do you want well what yeah what do you mean like what yeah, like are you I asking am. the this obvious podcast so what then do you want? so then i i logged off po- i log i logged off reddit for a year because it's just like bullshit negativity mm, like bullshit mm-hmm. negativity like you know what people are so negative like, like as if we make money from this we don't we just want information no. to just kind of well, continue things put- Give me stars on Facebook. Yeah. We could. We could do that. Give yeah. me some stars yeah. so I can get like a dollar ninety nine. But uh, what <laughs> what I'm saying is we're just trying we to don't. get information yeah. and people get all negative and down hey, on us about it. Hey, we can share your shit. You I want know. To tell us some shit. We'll share We just it. want to share the information yeah. and the ghost love. So exactly. on Reddit last year, I posed a question. I said, have you ever done any renovations and then started to have por- paranormal experiences in <laughs> you your house? Say Horror. Por- because I need to pour poor, another drink. Poor normal. <laughs> poor normal. We should like, like trademark that. <laughs> poor normal because we're drinking and we're we pouring. And we're not normal. <laughs> poor normal. I think the choo-choo train has left that track. So anyway, so going forward here, we've got some legit good responses that interacted good. with us. And thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Uh, from one user named... Uh, Lam the Haja, he says, my neighbors back in the day did a bathroom renovation and they found a glass jar in the floor with what looked like to be ashes in it. Oh, so shit. long story short, we, meaning my dad and my neighbor, later found out that the previous owner of the house was a mental health doctor that married one of his patients. Oh, fuck. That's never good. For real? Yeah. Oh, my God. The wife committed suicide a number of years later, presumably in the bathroom. No, oh, that's not good Anyways, yep. Yeah, dude found a jar of ashes in the bathroom floor and proceeded to have four different religious cleansings take place over a month. <laughs> Once the rentals were done, I shouldn't have enthusiastically told the new neighbors that moved in that the poor mom, because she had... Four with her kids she had like five kids or something like that yeah so the same story was told on another reddit site saying about story about my neighbor's house that there was some psychologist married one of his patients back in the 80s she killed herself in the bathroom and he moved away so there was another person that confirmed this shit yeah totally different person well no i think it was the same person oh okay but just just a different version of the story okay i thought there was another person that said the same goddamn thing i'm like oh my god no and then they had a timeline saying his patient's he married his patients back in the late 80s. She killed herself in the bathroom and he moved away to BC after renovating the place. So he renovated it. Oh, and then left. He's like, oh, okay, yeah. I'm good. Now we're yeah. done. So, and this story was from Bert, the guy that owned the house while he grew up. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. fast forward 20 years, I moved out, but frequently uh, frequented by parents. And it says, and the house had changed hands again. 
to this wonderful Sri Lankan lady and her two kids and they renovated it again. During a chit chat, they asked me why there would be jars of ashes under the floor. Like in more the bathroom. than one? Yeah. And if it's a Winnipeg humidity building practice. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely to code, no. To spec. Uh, I stone cold shrugged my shoulders and acted all perplexed and ended the conversation saying, I guess you can just throw them away. Got inside and had a oh, shiver in bed no, for like 20 minutes. People are fucking weird, man. Okay, yeah, no. You don't no. just throw that shit away. No. Let's just Scary. throw it in the garbage for like freaking the dumpster divers. Exactly. Like, No, I know. God. So with regards again to building renovations that provoke paranormal experiences, this is from Bor- Boral Chica 2. Says nothing paranormal, but I did find a stash of gay porn from the 80s <laughs> hidden behind a wall panel in the basement. Hmm. Hombre magazine seemed to be his favorite. Mine too. Hombre? Hombre. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, oh, 80s. My 80s res- porn had big collars. Uh, <laughs> <chica>, wah, wah. <laughs> and my response to him was ghosts have needs too. Oh. LOL. <laughs> but I'm done. <laughs> I have to respond. I have to interact. You know? I know. I... Sure, for sure. Uh, this one is from Nid, Nido Quaning, N-I-D-O-Q-I-N-G. No renovations, but my place was vacant for years before I moved in as the previous owner died and their family wasn't ready to sell, but didn't want to live there. I moved in and something keeps setting off my Alexa, tied in with our Alexa weird stories. <sighs> With country music and rock, country paper, music. scissors. <laughs> that's purgatory. And man. rock, paper, scissors? That's purgatory. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's yeah. weird. It says, can't tell you how many times I've woken up to Garth Brooks suddenly playing at 3 a.m. <laughs> oh, my I God. don't like country music. It's a losing battle. Oh, that's <laughs> weird. You See, what? it's not death metal. It's never death metal. No, I could, <laughs> I could deal with death metal. Yeah, I know. Totally. Yeah. Uh, my response to him Wow, so sorry to hear this. Country music is such an unpleasant surprise at any time of the day, let alone 3 a.m. Yeah. Uh, it's a, and then I said, LOL, does it still continue? Did you know much of the previous owner? It says th- their reply was, every now and then it still happens. Sometimes my Alexa just tells me, sorry, I didn't understand that when nothing was said. <laughs> the worst is when she spent a day trying to play rock, paper, lizard, Spock constantly with me and i had no da- idea that this was a game that existed i've kind of just gotten used to it i don't know <sighs> much other than the former owner wasn't all that old and it sounds like a pretty sudden death i figure a ghost roommate is better than a terrible human roommate oh well, hell to the yeah. end on that yeah. and i just says i said to him uh you'd hope they'd at least wash the dishes though right <laughs> yeah uh, this one is from a uh, username foreground my ass. <laughs> foreground my ass. I don't know. It says here when we moved into a house, uh, it's about 50 years old, we had a newborn. Uh, on one, um, more than one occasion, no, it says on more than three occasions, oh. we would clearly hear a, a hush us when the baby would be napping. Clear as day. There was no explaining it after one specific date where our dog freaked out after hearing this hushing and some general feelings of creepiness slash terror, everything just stopped. No Uh renovations on our part, just thought the story might fit here. Uh Uh, And it says, uh, a forward forward to this. When we moved into our house last year, we could definitely feel something not bad, just like something was around. The previous owners didn't did a lot of stupid renovations. (laughs) I can feel that. Stupid renovations. That's right. And and paint, so we fixed it all up right away. Sort of take the house back to its basics and removing all the Pinterest renos that did not match the house. <laughs> Both my husband and I have had dreams of a man around 50, wears a white collared shirt with the sleeves rolled up and black pants walking around the house. So both her and her husband had these dreams. At first he was walking around checking everything out and then he went to our kitchen and sat at our table. He comes around every couple of months and always seems relaxed last time i saw him he was sitting on our front steps when we did our inspection house was built in 1960s the inspector let us know that's where you come in 
Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. Whoever built the house put a lot of effort into it. All I can think is that the ghost is happy and relaxed. And I assume it's the original owner. Edit. Yes, we've had the carbon monoxide detectors checked <laughs> and they work. <laughs> <laughs> Response from a vengeful chicken. I hope I'm a chill ghost one day. <laughs> And then you, you've responded. You want to hear your response? Sure. Well, at least it's a peace of mind that he's calm spirit and probably appreciates that you love the house. True. And are making sure to preserve his work. So he's enjoying the retirement. You know, when you talk about the roll-up things, I'm thinking of, like, um, country people. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like, like say, like, I don't, I don't know. Remember in the olden days when the country guys used to roll up yeah, their little yeah. shirts? Yeah. With a pack of smokes. And yeah, stuff. exactly. Yeah. 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 From... Couch Boy Chris. <laughs> Couch Boy Chris. Sounds like that's where he probably lived. My neighbor claimed this happened when she took possession of the house. The previous couple were fairly young, though, and no one died in the house or anything, but I know that I'm typing this. The ownership went like this and might explain things. It's a very complicated mm-hmm. sentence there. Mm-hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Smith Sr. A. Mr. and Mrs. Smith Jr. B. C. is the current neighbor. We moved in next door between B and C <laughs> when our current neighbor moved in, and she said there were all kinds of weird things happening. She was pretty specific about she she was pretty specific about the things she saw. No idea if it was rental related because what people don't at least paint or something when they buy a new house, hmm. or if it was just because it was another family. But yeah, she said she did something to cleanse the house. Or sternly told them to leave. Maybe even brought someone to help. Apparently it's no longer an issue. She's retired and has Lyme disease. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Then you said, uh, for sure you want to make changes to make it your own when you buy a new house. It could be very possible that there was even some kind of strong energy there. That the young couple experienced but never took care of it. Or may have not even shown itself. Not everyone is sensitive. Sometimes... It's also easier to ignore the haunting is if you'd accept it for what it is. And then this couch boy. Oh, says, wait, wait, did I say that? Yeah, you said that. Holy shit, that was pretty fucking wise. <laughs> I know, <yeah. laughs> Coach boy went, yeah, I was trying to explain that to the young couple. They've never experienced because it was a husband and wife were the son or daughter of the previous owner. So everything was fine. But when it. An unrelated couple moved in. That wasn't okay. I get that. Yeah. This one from Greg DN. We've done extensive renos to the house originally, built in 1914. That's freaking old, yeah. That's older than dirt. Sometimes I feel like there's an unhappy presence around afterwards. Well, yeah, probably. Probably. I've apologized and explained, and sometimes you just can't help but... Have the feeling of angry eyes in our place. Mm. Yeah, no shit. You're like, sorry, Bad man, energy. but this is this is this place is falling apart, man. Mm-hmm. Somebody had to save it. Yeah, and you're like, I totally get it. It's if you're ever curious, we can always do a history search for you. <laughs> We're very discreet, but we'll always say it's nice to know who you're living with. Response True. from True Premier Sellinger. Fuck Premier that. Sellinger. Fuck that. No, seriously. I never noticed. I've heard that raccoons in the attic sound like people stomping around. Sure. Which would honestly freak me out. And you're like, raccoons in high heels. Just kidding. I remember a story where they <laughs> heard feet walking in the attic like high heels all night long. However, there was a second floor, maybe two, three of attic space. That's just freaky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Premier selling jar. Good luck with that. Yeah. No, yeah, no. Huh. Was... I was sober when I did those responses, just, <laughs> just for the record. Woo! Woo! That's pretty damn yeah, good. Yeah, so those are just some reno questions we threw out to some Reno locals renos, and, and we got it's some. always the renos. Hey, but we've oh. heard lots of reno stories, so we can't discount no, that. Because no, for sure not. A no. bajillion times, yeah. even like businesses, yeah. extremely huge buildings, a bunch of shit. Yeah. You know, what I truly, just because I've seen so many Pinterest and TikToks and shit like that, you know what really pisses off the ghost is when somebody takes a beautiful, like, oak cabin or something. Oh, like something gorgeous. And washes gorgeous it white. And shits on it. What the fuck did you do that for? I know, yeah. What in your head? Like, if it's pure wood. Like, see that, that wooden cabinet mm-hmm. behind you I right there? Yeah. That, that's like, 
I return that to its natural state. Yeah. It used to be painted. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Ugly, shitty, marble, crappy paint. You know, yeah. remember yeah, that? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I can see when you got crappy wood. When you have crappy wood, that's not like real oak or maple, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But like when you got the real good stuff with oh, the in, yeah. in grain, you know, oh. with the lay thing and stuff. Yeah. Don't paint over that. No, I know. So disrespectful. No, I know. It's just my take anyway. You just have to like love the furniture okay, as it is. Okay, let's do one shot. Okay. Okay. Trink, Signing trink. off. Prost. Signing off. Prost. De Borgia. De Borgia. Yeah. So that was um, Renault's in Winnipeg. And how and, it attracts paranormal shit. And if you have renos done, let yeah. us know. Let us know. We need. Well, to I know. mean, everyone does renos, but I mean, if you have renos, extreme. I think it's one of the extreme stuff when you're re- rechanging shit. You know. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever I, you're doing. I firmly believe, though, when you are restoring things back to its natural, like when it was built, mm-hmm. they're okay with that because that's what they remember. That's what they True. appreciate. True. That's how I would be. Oh, me too. But if you got yeah. some weird shit going down, hey. That's right. Let us know. Just like um, Beetlejuice when they're renovating that house. <laughs> no Beetlejuicing. Beetlejuice. 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 Oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but if you would like to tell us your reno story, please get mm-hmm. us a, get a hold of us at giving up the ghost podcast at gmail.com. Fabulous. And we are everywhere podcasts can be found. Everywhere you want to be. Everywhere. And then some. And then more. That's right. And we're half in the bag and it's time to sign off. It is. It's almost yeah. 1 a.m. Oh, have, my God. We have recorded a record number of eight episodes, I believe. Really? Shit you not. Wow. And over 15 shots of Woo! Baja Rosa. <laughs> Maybe and tequila. And how many other things? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we're still alive. We're still kicking it. Woo! Old school. Woo! No. Plenty of excellent things coming up in the new year post-pandemic. Please be with us. Please be a part of it. Please interact with us. Please share. Please share. Share mm-hmm. with share and jazz. That's right. And also merch, 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 merch. You want yeah. a t-shirt? We got it for you. We got some contests coming up with Poco. Oh, yes. And some cool little voodoo. Voodoo, voodoo doll thingies. And don't and, poke needles in them and, and say they're us. No, please no, don't. That's the only thing. Unless you want to rearrange my spine. Oh, yeah. I yeah. got a good kink happening. Yeah, in yeah. That's right. Blue disc last year. You could probably fix that. That's right. Yeah. A little jump to the left. Anyway. Yeah. On that Pardon note, me. we are tapping out. And remember to always live every day like it is your last. But 